Konstantin Karakov is considered to be among a handful of the premier physicists in Russia, a country that reveres its scientists. I considered it a genuine honor to have an hour of his time so that he could bridge our understanding of the unseen world of energy with scientific principles. As a professor of physics, Konstantin holds 12 patents on biophysics inventions, including that of his renowned bioelectrography device, which captures living energy fields around people, plants, and water, all living systems. This device has allowed us to peek into the essence of the life force itself, including our food supply, the water we drink, and the energy that occurs when two or more gather. The United States is a fantastic country, it's a great country, and this country was great in developing different technologies. So it was first technology in um, car making, then technology in um, electronics, then technology in uh, aviation. So every technology was designed to the best and the highest level. Mm -hmm. Same was done in food production. So it was designed as technology. And it was huge factories, and it is huge factories. They uh, are producing meat, chicken, uh, vegetables, fruits. So it designed like factories with very high effectiveness. And it was an interesting idea, but then it was found that this idea doesn't work for people. No. Because, first of all, in these productions, they use a lot of chemicals. Because to keep, for example, a thousand of uh, chicken together in one little place, relatively little, you need to use antibiotics, you need uh, to use a lot of uh, different chemicals, medications, uh, and uh, of course uh, a lot of uh, drugs to let them grow. Mm -hmm. so, hormones. Uh, hormones, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then it all comes to people. And it all is kept in people's body. Uh, you see, in our life, the sense of smell plays a very important role that people don't understand because uh, we just uh, smell some perfumes, we sometimes smell food, and that's it. But in reality, we constantly react to different smells. And this is absolute subconscious reaction. Mm -hmm. For animals, it is one of the main uh, source of the information. You know? For survival. Uh, for survival, for uh, operating an environment, uh, for intercommunication, these are the main source. Mm -hmm any dog, any cat that would always smell everything. Mm -hmm. For us, of course, it's much less important, but anyway, we react to smell because we are part of animal kingdom. Mm -hmm. And uh, the smell of food, it triggers a lot of physiological mechanisms in our digestive system. So when we have this good smell, we immediately trigger some process in our stomach to, pre to be prepared for the particular food. That's why it is so bad to have food with artificial smell. We can measure the influence of people to each other. Because this camera, from one hand, it's very sensitive. From the other hand, it's very stable. That's why we can use it in medicine. And when people meet each other with intention, would it be love or hatred, then they really strongly influence each other. And it may be done even without consciousness understanding. You know this notion of gaze from the back. Mm -hmm. It's very well known, it was studied, it is really exists. And we see this in uh, real experiments. We have a person seated in a comfortable position in a chair, and then other people come from the back. So this person, he doesn't know who is coming and whether they are coming or not. Mm -hmm. And we really can see uh, tremendous difference for uh, people who have no uh, connection with this person and for example for fiancé or love being who comes from the back. Mm -hmm. So it is clear uh, evidence that we influence each other. We influence each other so we should have some kind of clear intentionality. We should be somewhat aware and conscious of how we're interfacing with others in the world. Absolutely, absolutely. So we should understand that if we send positive emotions, if we send love to each other, then we increase not only other person's energy field, but our own energy field. Yes, and we're also working through the waters. We're working through the waters of the body. Yes, yes absolutely, absolutely. And when people send haters, when they send envy, negative emotions, they first of all decrease their own immune system. Yes. 
So that's why all bad witches, they were always presented as very ugly creatures. Yes, yes. And all fairy tale fairies, they were very nice always. While the interview starts off with technical information, it moves along quickly to some amazing findings. For the full interview, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.